Hi, my name is Max Geller and I'm a sophomore at Syracuse University. And the following material was written by me alone and represents my own opinion on this topic. Tagged.com is a social media network that is devoted to allowing its users to meet new people. Unlike Facebook, which helps you connect with people you already know, Tagged is a service that shows you strangers' profiles and connects you with people you never knew before. The website generates a random person based on the demographic you choose, sex, age, location, etc., and asks you if you're interested in meeting that person. If you respond yes and the other person does as well, then you are matched up and may further interact. The site also supports many of the other services that come standard with social media sites, such as photos, videos, birthday reminders, comments, notifications, messages, and more. You can also play games with your friends that come with the site. I found the whole matching up thing to be a little bit creepy. On the website, you are sharing personal information with people you have never met before in your life. You create a group of friends that do not exist in real life. They exist solely through the site. These are people you will most likely never interact with in person, and I find it weird to make friends and continue a friendship solely in a cyber environment. Additionally, it seems a bit dangerous to me to have people meeting strangers in an unmonitored setting. People pose as somebody they are not and request to meet somebody in person, giving way to all sorts of pedophiles, rapists, murderers, and more. Another thing that bothered me about the site is that I cannot update my email address. Initially, I gave a fake address, and I'm glad I did, and I could not confirm my account because I had a fake address. I tried to update the address to my real email so I could browse the site freely. I was mostly able to do so anyway. But in order to do that, I needed to confirm my already existing email. So it just sends you in one big circle where there is no real solution to the problem. Also, the default settings on the website enable them to send you all sorts of emails including notifications not pertaining to your personal account and emails from third party sources that have absolutely nothing to do with social media. I will never use this website. I find it to be creepy, intrusive, and deceptive. However, others would disagree as close to 20 million unique visitors pay a visit to the site per month. But as I already said, I will never use this website.